Hi everyone. Due to the global pandemic of coronavirus, there is a shortage of face masks um, pretty much everywhere right now. Some hospitals are actually uh, calling out on people to help uh, by making fabric uh, masks that can help out in a pinch to, to slow down the spread of uh, the coronavirus. So I'm going to show you today how to make a mask. This will be our pattern piece. There's only one piece that you need, which comes from this one page PDF that I will link to at the bottom. Apart from that, all you need is a sewing machine, some threads and needles, the basics, and then some plain cotton. The first thing we're going to do is make some ribbons, which we're just going to make out of the same cotton that we're going to be using for our mask. So we just measure a six centimeter wide strap. That's like what, two and a bit inch. And just cut into it. And then since this is cotton, good. So we just want these long strips like this. Fold the ribbon in half and press it down. Then use that fold as a guide to fold the outer edges inwards. Then fold the entire thing in half and press it down again so that the edges are locked on the inside. So we now have our uh, ribbon, so we're going to sew along this open edge here, making sure to catch um, both layers of fabric. We're going to cut this into 35 centimeter strips. You need four for one mask. So at the very end of the strip, we're going to fold this back once and then fold this back a second time. All right, four ribbons ready to go. It's with this side. To make one mask, you need this shape four times. This time I'm going to do two in one go, like this. We've got the shape four times. Now we can assemble our mask. Put these two identical halves together with the good sides together. And then we're going to be sewing along this long curved edge here. Now it's time to assemble our mask. We got our four ribbons here, and we got two of these. So, place this first one down with the good side, that means the side where there is no seam on the top, making sure that you know which side is the no side. And then the other one, place it down with the, also the good side against the good side there, so that all of the seams are on the outside, on both sides. But here on one side, we're going to leave an opening through which we later going to turn our mask inside out. So we're going to start here, and then we're going to go all the way around our mask until we come back here, and then this little piece we're going to leave open. Now in addition, on every corner we're going to have to attach a little ribbon, and you do that by sliding the ribbon between the masks like this. Let's right, stick out a bit there, and then sew it in place. I sew it all the way around the mask, except here where I left this opening where our ribbons are sticking out. Right? So now. this and then we're gonna use our iron to make this look uh, a bit better. The side where we have the opening you want to make sure you fold that seam allowance inside. The thing that's left to do now is to edge stitch all the way around our mask. So by edge, edge, edge stitch I mean we're going to be sewing along this edge here quite close to the edge and in doing so we're going to stabilize our mask but also we're going to close this opening. One face mask done. Now, um, if I just say make these upper straps a bit longer, but apart from that, this is fine. You can still breathe through it, it's cotton, which will give you some filtration. Now go and make a bunch so that um, for yourself, for your family, but also for healthcare workers who are looking for them. Once again, the link to this pattern is available 